We got the winner of the Pivot Bio Truck coming here right now to see his prize. This is the first time he's gonna lay eyes on his beautiful new pickup. You know what? This is one of my favorite parts of the job. <laughs> one, two, three! <laughs> So this time last year, we got a call from Pivot Bio, the guys who put more nitrogen into the ground to make the corn grow taller, more luscious, and feel better in our bellies. Correct. And they said, build us the ultimate farm truck. So what do we do? We built them the ultimate farm truck. So listen, we don't know a lot about farming. We're working in the shop, we're doing recoveries. We don't know a lot about farming. So we got a hold of some of the the purebred, mm -hmm. homegrown Iowa farmers. What better place than Iowa? So now that we're in Iowa, getting to learn what farmers do, first things first, we fly a helicopter. We do what we do best, and we rescued a tractor that was stuck in the mud. Then I got to drive a tractor. Hans gets the rental minivan stuck in a I field. I thought we were gonna keep that out of this. Oh, whoops. We talked to everybody we could to see what they wanted on the ultimate farm truck. So after getting all this research, talking to all these different farmers, and they all had great ideas. Everybody had their own idea, and everybody wanted their own truck a little bit different than the other. So what we did, came back to the shop, got to the drawing board, and we created the ultimate truck. My favorite part about this whole truck is the highway products bed that we put on the back of this thing. It's all aluminum, it has room for so many tools, and you can still haul a gooseneck with it. You took the best thing right I, out of the I game. had to, I had to. I love the bed. How about the welder, the MIG TIG stick welder generator combo? Wow. RK Sport hood, pressure washer, compressors. Fuel tanks, both for diesel and gas or whatever you wanna put in there. From the wheels, we did Black Rhino wheels on this uh -huh. thing. We nice. did 38 inch Mickey Thompson Ooh, tires. Beautiful. We decided to do wide, lot of rubber, lot of meat to give traction. What about the grill bumper combo? Built in house yeah. by the Sparks Motors team. By far the coolest bumper on the market oh, right now. We were able to install lights in it, we were able to install uh, winches in it. Mm -hmm. This thing, it's perfect. And it's only perfect because we found out what farmers need most and we put it in there. You know what they need most? What? Snacks. Fridge in the back. Now that we finally built the ultimate farm truck and we're stoked on it, then we get a call that Pivot Bio wants to give it away. Give it away to a farmer. A, I'm stoked on uh, giving it to a farmer. B, I'm not stoked because I just fell in love with this truck and now I have to give it away. But at least we gotta give it away in true Diesel Brother fashion with a good old race. That's right. What we did is we buried sharp pieces of metal <laughs> yep. into a pit of corn and then had our mechanics dive in find the piece of sharp metal, get out, run through a corn maze, and the first person through the maze, back and touch the ultimate farm truck, wins the truck for whoever they're representing in the race, whoever they found in the corn pit. So, everyone wants to know, who was the winner of the ultimate farm truck? Scott Peterson <laughs> from South Dakota! Woo <laughs> The lucky, lucky guy. Big day today, guys. We got the winner of the Pivot Bio Truck coming here right now to see his prize. This is the first time he's gonna lay eyes on his beautiful new pickup. You know what? This is one of my favorite parts of the job. Getting to watch someone see their truck for the first time, get ecstatic, have those emotions. Do you feel the goose pimples? You getting them? Anyway, let's go get the winner. Scott, Scott, Scott! Scott. Scott, 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 Scott. Yeah, he's here! Woohoo! All right, it's time for me to see his truck. You excited? I'm excited. <laughs> the caveat is, if you guys peak prematurely, we get the truck. Okay. The caveat. The caveat. The caveat. Word caveat. Did you go through the definition book today? No. They call that a dictionary, but I said the definition book. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got us to start? Yeah. <laughs> Cole and I are going to be carrying this. You guys need to be pretty close. So get pretty close to this. Here. He's going to see it. You better be careful. You're um, in that corner. Okay. Just walk with us. Walk with us. 
Is there anything you guys want to say before we show you the truck? Yes. <laughs> Tell Cole's us going the story. Still. You said you had a cool story. The day we called you. What happened? Uh, well, yeah, we started out the day we were trying to combine soybeans. It was blowing with like 40 miles an hour. Got shut down because we were about starting a fire and burning the whole country down. Come back to the farm to do some stuff. Getting a phone call from Utah. And I'm like, who's this idiot? Tell <laughs> <laughs> marketers. They I can't believe they're trying to get me. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure you yeah. I kept saying, I'm not going to answer this. Then the name actually came up. I answered and he was like, well, we want to set up a call. Fine. And nothing else to do. So I mean, the wind's just yeah, preventing it, you it from ripping, your livelihood yeah, it was ripping, and everything, yeah, ripping and, everything apart. Yeah, yeah, it was a mess. And then he comes up, and I see him, and like, I can see the background. Like, ah. And then Dave jumps on there, and like, oh, it was right here, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. when yeah. Dave was jumping on my back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. It still didn't really set in. I mean, I sat around the house for like 15 minutes afterwards, like, that's not real. <laughs> 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 Called my wife, I'm like, I got a weird phone call. <laughs> She's like, "Whoa, oh, what? These cameras are really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, she goes, are you sure it's real? Like, well, yeah, I'm, I, mean, I know it's real because of the guy that I just talked to, but I said, I can't believe it. I think it's been long enough, don't you boys think? <laughs> Stay right, facing this way. You wanna... <laughs> On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Going up there, touch it, feel it. Get up here. I got shotgun. I know, he did the shotgun. Oh, I got back middle on the hump. <laughs> there is not a hump, it's a cooler. <laughs> so, as you saw, we put front seats in the back. So yeah. The guys in the back are just as comfortable. So, really, shotgun goes for any of the other three seats yeah. that aren't driving. You've got a, a cooler right there in the middle, so you can keep all your snacks in there for when you're working. I think uh, I think he might not want a shotgun now. Yeah, no, you call shotgun. No, yeah, he likes to eat. You're, so yeah, he probably will stay back. There. I mean, really, you got all the benefits. They're both heated and cooled. Okay. Yeah, yeah but so. the cooler is in the back. That's yeah, oh, it's true. Really adjustable yeah. Guys in the back are having seats. nice cool drinks. You guys up front have to have the warm drink. What's behind door What's number one? one? Show us. So right here, you've got all your brand new Milwaukee tools. Get everything from sawzalls, the grinders, the greasers, the impact guns, everything. drills, with all the batteries that can actually charge here. Your inverters right there, so on the job you're never gonna have a dead battery. Perfect. That's this awesome. is probably my favorite box. Really? You can charge anything well, just, on that. I just like Milwaukee tools, you know? Big fan. Then right here is uh nice so you don't get mud in your in your car. Oh no, that's the bottom one. Is it this one? That's the top one. Is the top, top one. one. So you don't get one? mud in your Why was that truck. One? Not large. You got a sprayer, so this fills with water right here, and you got a little jet there. You can spray the mud off your boots. You can also wash your truck with it. You can wash whatever you're working on. Sometimes you got muddy tractors, and the parts are all covered with mud and guck, and you got to get your hands in there and dig it out. And now you can just spray it off. Yeah. I think down this will help us with the harvester. Yeah. 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 Very back, you got your welder, your uh, generator combo, so you can do stick welding, TIG welding, MIG welding, all the above with that. All your welding stuff and your leads right here. Then you got all your hand tools right here. Check how organized they are. Yeah. And now we Nolan, want, every Nolan night we want to disorganize. Truck. Okay, that's Currently, your job. Nolan, is your dad's truck uh, organized like this? Take a picture now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> then you got right here, in case you need to get back into the back of the truck, you got steps to come up. Ooh. These all, these will pop off. So if you ever need to just get right into there and slide these boxes out, you can do that pretty easy. We had just this this bed made by uh, Highway Products. It has a space right here so you can hook your gooseneck trailer underneath, but we had all that extra space for more storage. Yep. So I am designed these awesome boxes so that we can put more tools and more things. So if you got chains and straps and whatever that you want to keep out of the weather, yep. you can throw them in this box. But at the same time, you grab these handles, you can pull it out, and you can hook up to your gooseneck trailer. Yep. Yep. This also and allows you to put uh, any kind of stuff like, on top. Stuff on top. Yeah. There's actually a drain built into these seals too, so like when water gets down into these crevices, it just drains out. So then you, we know that a lot of the times you're doing a lot of work in the dark. Not anymore. Now you've got these Raycor lights here, you've got lights on the back, you've got these cubes up top that'll shine into your bed so you see everything there. The good news is you're not, you don't need to sleep anymore because it's always going to be daytime. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is great for your, anyone working for you. It's, yeah. oh, it's too dark. No, I'm just. Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Our fuel tanks, then you got your pumps right there. So you can fill up diesel, gas, gas. I, yeah. You need. I believe they're both uh, 70 gallons. Oh, wow. So you got 70 there, 70 there. If you don't take this home pretty quick, I think Dave might just take it from you. <laughs> <laughs> you got your custom pivot bio emblems here, you got your custom hood, you got all your lights and your grill, and then you got these guys, your winch. So, hey, that will, uh... Drag that grain pin out of the field. <laughs> yeah, 12,000 12, pound winch, so <laughs> as long as your grain bin ain't more than 12,000 pounds, you should be able to move it. This thing's really, really awesome. I think it's really awesome because this was custom made by Iron himself in the shop. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys want to take it for a spin? Oh, yeah. Nolan, okay. what's your favorite part so far? Because you're inheriting this Great. in 10 years or something like that. <laughs> the fridge? Okay. Yeah, how'd I know that? Well, Dad, the fridge Daddy is removable, the so if you want to just give him a fridge and not a truck, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> what seat you want, Nolan? I got shotgun. Which one's shotgun? Front? You got front shotgun or back shotgun? They're all shotguns. <laughs> I'll go front where I have a better view. I don't think there's any treats in the fridge now, so now's the time to sit in the front. <laughs> You had some of these snacks back here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the next cool. thing I want to take a ride in is that big school bus I got out front. <laughs> oh yeah, that school bus is fun. That dude gets special permit to take it out on the road though. What? Yeah, I had to have a police escort last time I drove. I got to drive it on this highway right here. <laughs> that was pretty wild. You can just park it out front. Let out. He's ready to open the gate. This is the keys. biggest thing that you have here <laughs> that is street legal. And there's the Ninja Turtle Mobile, big lime green over here. Which oh, one you want to see first? It. Let's go bro there. Hop in, Nolan. I can even get in. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Pivot Bio, we absolutely love working with you guys. This has been a blast. We're just super grateful to be part of it and to be part of this program and to bring trucks just like this to you guys. So uh, we hope you guys enjoy. There's a lot of stuff going on. In fact, word on the street is we're building the ultimate ranch truck. What did you say? I said, word on the street is we're building the ultimate ranch truck. Say it again. We're building the ultimate ranch truck. Say it faster. We're building the ultimate ranch truck. Yahoo! Ultimate ranch truck! What is up with your voice? It, you, like, you like it? Yeah, but like, it's familiar. Well then, we'll get, get the apples, apples and slap some bacon, bacon on the biscuit. Let's, let's go. go. We're, We're burning daylight. daylight. That's that voice again. I know that voice from somewhere. It's like on a movie or somebody I know. Or Just like, call me the Duke. Or the Duke? <laughs> <laughs>